Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro 4 screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about installing WordPress. I'm going to be doing it three different ways. The first way, uh, manually, downloading from the WordPress.org website and installing WordPress manually. The second way, I'm going to be using the extras, features here, extras feature here in MAMP Pro using Apache. And the third way is, uh, again, with the extras feature, but using Nginx. Okay, so now I'm going to install WordPress manually. That's very easy to do. You just have to go to the WordPress.org website, download WordPress, and that should end up in your downloads folder. It's either a zip file or tar file. Uh, unzip that and you will be presented with a WordPress folder. Take that entire folder, and uh, or I'm gonna do that and put it in my websites folder, so just a general websites folder where I have all my websites. So this is gonna be this um, WordPress user's username websites. WordPress is gonna be my document route for my new host. So, so I'm gonna go to MAMP and create a new host and I'm gonna call it uh, WordPress manual, manual and set up the document root there. So here's WordPress, websites, WordPress. Choose that and save. So this is gonna be uh, uh, my setup for my new WordPress site. And now I have to run the WordPress installation. Okay, so now I'm ready to set up my WordPress site manually. Uh, I just wanna point out a few things before I do that. Um, I'm using Word for, uh, PHP 7.0.10. You have to make sure that your PHP version is compatible with your uh, WordPress version. In ports, I set my port, Apache port to port 80. It's a lot easier for uploading to a host provider to run or to install and run all your WordPress hosts on port 80. Okay, so uh, going back to my hosts to run the setup, all I have to do is, or one last thing, I have to go to my web start uh, page here, go to my PHP my admin and set up a database. So I'm gonna go to set up a new database here, which my WordPress is going to use in a second. Uh, WordPress is the default name. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm gonna name it WordPress. Um, so I got my WordPress database set up. So now I can go and set up my uh, run the installation process. Just uh, click the arrow button here and you should uh, be presented with a, uh, the WordPress installation. So continue English. And uh, so my database here is set up at WordPress already. You would have to fill in any name, uh, the name that you set up your WordPress database as. Uh, you're, we're going to be using the root user to access the MySQL database. In MAMP Pro, you, uh, your default password for this root user is root. You should change this to something better. Uh, Localhost stays the same and uh, for your database host. And WordPress underscore, you can change this to whatever you want. I'm just going to use the default value. Okay, so it looks like everything is correct and we can run the install. Uh, you just have to um, set a set a title, username. I'm making very easy usernames, which is you should probably use something better. I'm confirming a at uh, confirming. I'm using a weak password uh, and whatever. I'm just gonna put in a fake email here and install WordPress. And that's all to uh, setting up WordPress. You can log in and uh, my, uh, your uh, WordPress should be uh, good to go. So that's how to install uh, WordPress manually. So I have my host here set up and manually set up. Okay, so now I'm gonna set up uh, WordPress using the extras feature in MAMP Pro. Uh, to do that, uh, first, the first thing you have to do is set up a host, and I'm gonna call it uh, WordPress uh, Extra A for Apache. I'm gonna be setting up this host using Apache. Uh, you need to point to a document root. I already have one set up here, and uh, this is gonna be 
in my website's WordPress extra Apache document root, and I have to save it um, before I go to the extras tab, before I can download it. It's very important to remember that what you set up your host as, you have to use it as. That is, I'm setting up this WordPress host using Apache on port 80, and that is how you have to access this host. You cannot go in and set up the extra later and um, run it on. Uh, if it was set up on port 80, it has to run on port 80. Uh, you cannot later go back and uh, run it on port 85. Um, it, your WordPress installation isn't going to work. Okay, so um, all you have to do for extras is to press the extras here, and we have a WordPress 4.6 available. Um, go through the uh, um, uh, fill out these uh, few fields. You can set up a subdirectory if you want. I'm not going to do that. A table prefix. Uh, you can set this to whatever you want. Database name is already set up for you. You can change this. Um, and admin and admin are your username and password, which you can, uh, your password, uh, it's recommended that you later go in and, and, and change this to something better. But for the installation process, it is set up as that. So all I, have, all I have to do is go ahead and press the install button and the installation is going to begin. Okay, so my extra was installed and uh, successfully. And uh, when it is installed, you have two buttons uh, here. This right here opens the extra installation in the default browser, and this is going to go straight to your settings. Uh, I'll just use both of these. Um, here is my WordPress Extra A website, uh, and here is the actual website that has been set up. And here, if I go to the, this is the um, administration page you can go to. You have to log in here with my admin and admin default. Um, uh, password, which you should change later manually once you are in here. Um, so that's it. This is your uh, updates page. Now, this isn't the latest. Uh, we, have, we have an updates warning here because it's not the latest uh, WordPress. You can always, uh, if we do not have the latest, you can update manually through the uh, user interface here. So that's uh, installing uh, WordPress with, your, uh, with the extras feature using uh, Apache. Okay, so uh, the last uh, way I'm going to install WordPress is to uh, uh, use Nginx with the uh, extras feature. So I'll just call this WordPress Extra N. And uh, just like before, um, first you have to save. I'm going to uh, save this first, um, the uh, host, and then uh, run the extra installation. Uh, I do not have Nginx running, so I'm going to have to, uh, that was just a warning to set the group start button, this checkbox here. So when I do save, the uh, Nginx is going to start again. Um, so Nginx is set. I have to set my document root. I already have that set up. I have a WordPress extra Nginx uh, document root folder. I've set that up and then I just have to save and start my servers and uh, then I will be up and running with uh, Nginx. So my Nginx is running. That's required to uh, run the extra installation. So just as before, I go here to the extras. Uh, WordPress 4.6 is exactly like the uh, Apache install. Uh, I'll just put a put a um, this AB at uh, CD dot d and that's uh, uh you have to uh, fill in your email address uh, a name here a table prefix um, you can put this in a subdirectory if you want i'm not going to do it uh, database name automatically uh, as you notice it's wordpress 2 now it'll just keep uh map pro extras installation will keep um, um, making uh, new uh, wordpress database names legal database uh, names, uh, username admin, password admin, you should change that after you install the WordPress extra installation. So I'm going to go ahead and install and run the website.
Okay, so WordPress 4.6 is installed, and as just as before, you can access the uh, main site here by pressing the uh, arrow button, or you can go and access the admin site just as before in um, using the Apache uh, using Apache as your web server. So, and just as before, you uh, this version is not up to date, and if it isn't, you can update through the uh, WordPress uh, user interface. So, just one thing to point out, uh, just as I pointed out before, this WordPress Extra is running. Uh, uh, this is um, running on Nginx, and Nginx on um, my installation of uh map pro is on port 81 so i guess i guess i went against my recommendation here i'm running my earlier recommendation uh, this extra is running on port 81 and you'll notice if you go to your hosts uh when i click on wordpress extra and here if i go to my site here you're going to see it is running on this you see this colon 81 so that'll make it a little more difficult for uploading to um, host providers so uh, depending on how you want to do this you can't run both on the same port you can't run a nginx and apache on port 80. i guess one option you could do is just uh, switch this and um, if you prefer to use nginx um, switch and the nginx port to 80 and the apache port to 81 and all of your uh, hosts your nginx host extra hosts will be on port uh, 80. So that's just something to watch out for when installing um, WordPress, no matter if you do it manually or using the extras. So that's going to do it uh, for installing WordPress in um, three different ways. And um, that's going to do it for this MAMP Pro 4 screencast on installing WordPress.